Hey, what's going on guys? Joseph back with another YouTube video today. And today we're going to be doing a weapon light comparison specifically for pistol mounted uh, weapon lights. Um, the two that I have are going to be the two more popular, or the, more, the most popular brands that I could find on the internet. Um, specifically the Surefire X300 Ultra, um, both the Alpha and Bravo type. Uh, and then the Streamlight TLR1S, uh, which the S stands for strobe because um, that does have a strobe feature. Um, pretty much going to do comparisons on uh, price, uh, runtime, lumens, all that kind of stuff, and what works best for you, what I prefer, and things like that. Because again, everyone does have their own preferences uh, as far as uh, you know what type they can run. If you're uh, in law enforcement, law enf your uh, agency may only allow you to run um, Surefire or Streamlight. Those are the two more Again, the two more popular ones I could find on the internet. Um, or they may let you run whatever you want as long as it's, you know, compatible with your uh, with your uh, uh, your holster that you're issued. Or in some departments, you may have to buy if it's a smaller department. Uh, sometimes you have to purchase your own equipment, such as your holster, your belt, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, real quick, I do want to address the lighting right now. Uh, normally, I film on a Samsung 360 gear. Uh, but for some reason, whenever I film a video, uh, I cannot access the gallery through the app on that. So I'm just filming on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 uh, Ultra. Or I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't know the type of phone that I have. Um, so you'll have to excuse the lighting until I can find another replacement for the camera or what have you. Um, so as far as the lights go, uh, we're going to start off with the uh, Surefire lights. Um, I have two of them. I have one on my Glock 17. This is the Bravo version. There you go. The Bravo. And then I have the Alpha version here on my 1911. Um, and really the only difference between the Alpha and the Bravo, as you'll notice the Alpha has a little clip on either side that you can use to mount it to the Picatinny rail, in this case of the 1911, because it doesn't have the standard little cutout that most of the pommel, uh, polymer, uh, polymer handguns like Glock and the uh, you know, H&Ks and stuff like that. You know, most of those pistols have like just one little notch that's cut out um, that you can use to, uh, to attach that on. Let me show you the Bravo again. So you'll notice the Bravo has this that you can use to screw it on or tighten it down with a coin or a flathead screwdriver, whatever you happen to have. Um, but aside from that, they're both the same light. Uh, one, obviously, I have in the Flat Dirt Earth, which is the Bravo. And then the uh, Alpha I have in, uh, in black. Um, price point, they're, they're kind of expensive for a weapon light. Uh, they're about $270 to $280. Um, that you can find it pretty much anywhere. Both of these that I purchased, I purchased off of Amazon. Um, so I bought them off of Amazon Prime, so I got them in about, about two to three business days. I've had these for a while, uh, and they're they're both good lights. Um, they both take two, let me show you that alpha here since it's a little easier. Um, when you buy them, they come with the Surefire brand uh, CR-123 batteries, and you, it takes two of them, and obviously shows you how to put them in on the bottom, just to give you a little diagram there in case you're an idiot, which I am sometimes, so pictures are always helpful, and then it just had a little toggle switch on either side that you can either press down with your thumb or with your finger to activate the light, which if you press it forward, it's momentary on, or if you use the toggle on either side, you can leave it on. It's a constant on. Even if you were to holster the weapon, which I'll show you here. So this is my, it's clear by the way, in case anyone wants to give me any guff. It's clear, nothing in the barrel. So constant on. Now I'll take a few steps back. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this in my holster. 
but it is holstered. And as you can see, the light is still on. So just be aware of that. There are some holsters that will, I don't know if it's because of how they're, how they're molded or how they're built, but there are some where you, when you reholster the pistol, um, since most of the weapon lights on the market have that little um, toggle on either side, uh, it'll flip it back to its normal position and therefore turn the light off, therefore saving you some battery in case you forget to turn it off. Um, I don't recall the, the, uh, the life of the lights with the, web, or with the lights currently on or constantly running, so I'll have to look that up and I'll put it in the video post when I'm editing it. Um, the Surefire uh, X300 Ultra is probably one of the more popular uh, weapon lights on the market. Like I said, you see a lot of uh, law enforcement people running them. They're very popular on YouTube. Um, like if you just Google Surefire X300, you'll probably see uh, a million different videos on that particular weapon light. Um, just because it is very popular, it's very durable, they last a long time. Um, this particular model, the lumen output is 500 lumens. Um, the candela, which is the spread of the weapon light, which again, I don't recall it off the top of my head, so again, I'll put it in post. It's pretty good. Um, so that's, that's my wall there, probably about a good six, seven feet. And as you can see, this is your center candela right about here. You can see it's brighter in the middle and it's got a second ring. And then you can obviously see my shadow. Uh, you can see kind of the bottom of the lighters right there. You can see as my shadow comes in. So it's got a pretty, pretty good spread. Again, I'll look that up and see what the candela is. I'm pretty sure I have, my room's a mess. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a box that has the, uh, X300 info on it. Um, overall weight, I believe, is 1.25 ounces uh, with the batteries. Um, so it's not, not that heavy of a light. You can't really feel, I mean, you could feel it on the pistol. Like if I were to take this off, there'd be a noticeable difference from, you know, from, from drawing to, you know, to when it, without having the light on, you know, so you can, you can feel it definitely and especially when you're when you're pressed out like that you know firing and, and such stupid thing off um, the other light that I have here um, I've had for a while probably well it's longer than I've had the surefire that's for sure um, is gonna be the streamlights TLR 1s um, and again, this is kind of like the Bravo model of the Surefire. It's got that little knot that you can use to screw on. Um, I have this on a Glock 19 that I've had for a while. Um, and it's got that, you can see a little toggle on the bottom, or bottom and then the top here. And you can just... Now the difference with this, I'm going to step aside from the camera and show you the light here. So again, you'll notice with the Surefire, whether I do the constant on where, and I'm, I shoot right-handed, so I can adjust that using my index finger, or if I was going to fire, I would use my support hand, my thumb, to do constant on, or just pushing that in just do a momentary on and again some people will tell you you know like if you're if you're law enforcement you know doing the momentary on as you're clearing your room versus you know having this constantly going as you're clearing your room is uh is better uh i don't have any room clearing experience because obviously i'm not a police officer i'm not law enforcement uh never been in the military so you know it's not like i would know let see if I can adjust y'all just a wee bit to get that stupid. Let's try this. Oh, scary. Let's 
turn on the extra headed so y'all can see me better. There we go. I like this better. <laughs> yeah, that, that glare on the lens was getting on my nerves. Um, I'm just using my spare X300. Uh, the, now the comparison I was going to make is that on the TLR1S, you press down, you'll notice on my shooting side toggles down and it's constant on as you can see but if i were to toggle it up it goes back down by itself and now i did say that this the tlr1s it does have a stream so to engage the stream what you're going to do is on the momentary side which, if you're a left-handed shooter, is going to be as you're pressing down. Um, or if you're a right-handed shooter, you're going to use the toggle up side. You're going to do it twice. Now, if you have epilepsy or if you suffer from seizures, this is your warning now. I'll put a warning at the beginning of the video. Just that way I don't get anyone hurt or anything like that. Because obviously that is not the intention of this video. This is purely for educational purposes. And also to help you, uh, if you don't have a weapon light for your pistol yet, um, for you to be able to buy one. So there's your warning, just be aware. So going back to the weapon light, you're going to do the, the, the temporary on two times, and you're going to do it in succession. So one, two, and as you'll notice, there's a strobe. Now, let me see if I can move this back a little bit so you can do a little bit better. So now, as you, if you recall with the X300, the candela or the how much it blooms out from the center was pretty big for the X300. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off real quick. And then I'm gonna flip on the TLR1S and you're gonna see how much of a difference there is. So there's the TLR1S. So you have the bottom here and then you have the center. Now, if I were to go back to the X300 on my Glock, still pretty big, major uh, center, center white spot, but then again, it's got that second outer ring that you can see there, and then it's got that third one. So if I was outside, which I'm not, because it's raining, and I don't want to get wet, you would, you know, uh, we'd be able to test it out a lot better. But as you can see, just from a, about a, you know, seven foot, uh, and I know on, on camera it looks like I'm pretty close, but, you know. Hi. So, as you can see, it's pretty far away because I got a lot smaller, which I wish was that easy in our life, but. Uh, price of the TLR1S, I believe, is about, I want to say about roughly half the price of the X300. Um, again, I will double check that and I will put it in post uh, as I'm editing it because I'm an idiot. Uh, but just speaking briefly, uh, both lights are good. Both weapon lights are good. I have seen police departments use both. Um, I've seen them utilize the stream light some utilize the X300. And again, there could be a number of variables that come into play when it comes to what you're gonna run specifically uh, on your on your weapon or your pistol. Um, Cause again, your department could say, well, you know, you can only run a Surefire or you have to run an X300. Or it could be something a lot more vague than that. It could be, it's gotta be black, but it's gotta have minimum X, X amount of lumens, maximum X amount of lumens, and you gotta supply your own batteries. You know, I, I, I don't know. So before you, if you're if you're in law enforcement or you're thinking about joining up uh, law enforcement, uh, make sure you uh, check with your uh, local departments and let them and see what what they have. Um, I'm pretty sure with the way our, with the way departments are nowadays, um, I don't think it'll be that super strict. Uh, but again, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Most pistols that police officers use uh, 
are issued by the department themselves, including weapon lights. So they may just give you uh, a Glock 19 with a Surefire X300 or a Glock 17 with a Streamlight TLR1 or TLR2, you know, whatever the, whatever they're using. Um, like I said, it just depends. Or, you know, there are some cases, you know, I've seen it before where police officers are allowed to run, uh, you know, a custom firearm. You know, maybe it can't be tan or, if, or if, if there are department standards, maybe it's got to be all one color. So maybe they do, you know, flat dark earth or all black. Uh, I don't mean they would do anything crazy like, you know, I'm going to have like a green, <laughs> a green firearm. But hey, you never know. Um, but I think... I think running a custom pistol or custom anything when it comes to policing is probably going to be more for more um, specific uh, job types, you know, like SWAT and uh, detective work and, and things like that. I don't think if you're just a regular uh, uniformed police officer, I don't think you'll be able to run a, a, a custom weapon. Uh, I don't really have a lot of information on the uh, TLR-1S aside from the uh, the size and look of it. Again, my apologies for that. I will leave links uh, down below in the description to where you can purchase both of these weapons and also to their respective websites for both the Streamlight and Surefire weapon lights. That way you can get the most information, the more accurate information as far as runtime, uh, lumen output, things like that. Just that way you can be more informed going forward um, and uh, you know you can just kind of make that decision for yourself. But I just want to make a quick video going over this because I've been meaning to do this for a while um, but just haven't been able to do it. Um, there is one thing that I will let you know that I'm getting ready to make a video on and it is going to be this which if you don't know what this is, this is a sling from T-Rex Arms. This is simply just called their T-Rex Arms sling. And the cool thing about said sling is that when you get it, you can run any, any attachment points that you want on it. So I have some the Magpul ones that I, that I have from another sling that broke. And now one of the one of the cool things about this sling is that it's adjustable as you're wearing it. And I'll show you what that means here in just a moment. There we go. There's a little should have had this on beforehand. So don't worry, it's rifles clear. Nothing in the magazine or a magazine well and bolt is free and clear. Um, but the cool thing about this sling is that there's a little pull tab here. And this when when you purchase it, and all, all this is available on their website, um, and they actually have a tutorial video on how to set up your sling. Um, they have two ways that you can set up the sling. They have what they call their standard throw, which is the method that it receives in, which is what I have it in, um, and their reverse throw. So the standard throw is, again, the, you loosen the sling behind you, and it loosens to where you can shoulder it, fire, manipulate the firearm or your grip or your light whatever the case may be, and then when you're done, you pull it back towards the rifle and it tightens to your body. That way you can do, you can do whatever you can manipulate. 
pistol or you know if you're a cop you can arrest someone or you know do other other things so it's a really cool sling it's really nice it comes padded for most for a good majority of it obviously aside from the part where you're adjusting it so it, it's a good it's a nice sling the guys at t-rex arms they did a really good job putting this together uh it's relatively cheap and it ships well mine shipped in about about three days so it's uh it's pretty good but uh again that'll be for another video so thanks for stopping by guys i appreciate it um if you're new to the channel feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you like the content there are other videos i've done in the past about holsters and things like that so again please feel free to uh to subscribe and share this channel and this video with your friends that may be interested in my content but uh, i appreciate it guys y'all have a good day see you in the next one